this is for everybody who's looking at Valentine's Day tomorrow. And, uh, you know, for the first time in a while, not anticipating anything. <laughs> it's actually a blessing in a sense because not anticipating anything means that the sky is clearer and you don't have to um, react to <laughs> any of the notions that would otherwise plague you. You know, like, is tomorrow the day you subconsciously take stock of just where you're at <laughs> um, in the course of your intimate life? Um, you don't have to define anything or ask for any definitions. <laughs> you don't have to eat chocolate. I actually forfeited 12 macarons today. The co-op had one package left. It was $21. <laughs> $21 for 12 macarons the size of a man's thumb. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I forfeited because there was too much chocolate and raspberry and almond flour, uh, all of which uh, produce kidney stones. <laughs> And I had my bout with that at the end of the, the um, infamous 2020, so. <laughs> I am not eating chocolate tomorrow unless you send me some. But it better not be made with almond flour, which is the absolute killer of high oxalate <laughs> offending foods. Um... Just, you know, count your blessings, be grateful, show some gratitude, even if you're sitting alone. Watch a show that has nothing to do with love. <laughs> um, do your church uh, worship tomorrow's Sunday. You know, give glory to God and then go listen to um, Mark Doss sing, Maureen uh, Dorosh player violin. Um, I'm going to hear the two of them tomorrow back to back. I'll, that's how I'll spend my afternoon. Um, indulge your self pity and make sure you have some protein. I just read a thing this afternoon that reminds the elderly that red meat is perfectly fine. In fact, red meat contains the, the cholines that our bodies need, and we should be eating red meat. So go have a lamb steak or a, a burger. And don't eat anything that you can trace a heart in, like mashed potatoes or, you know, any starches like that. Okay? No hearts tomorrow. You can feel love and stuff, you know, but just don't put any constraints on yourself or conditions on your day. And you'll get through it. You'll get through it, I promise, once the sun goes down. Monday will come, so will the snow, and uh, you'll get past it just like you got past Christmas and New Year's. And you might have fleeting thoughts that the ex is at the peak with some new conquest, you know, having beef wellington, but it won't be you. You'll be able to start fresh <laughs> with self. And that's not a bad place to be. So you be sure you have a happy Valentine's Day this year. I mean it. You can start right now. <laughs>